Hey guys, so today we're going to be trying out some new makeup. I've accumulated quite a few things here. I'm really, really excited to be trying out this new Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer from NARS. They sent over three different shades. <laughs> Having a hard time getting it out of the box. So we'll figure out what shade works best for me. Um, I also have the new bronzer from Guerlain. I have the new Tatcha Silk Powder that I'm going to use today. I have a new mascara from Sisley. This is their So Stretch Mascara. I have it in the shade Deep Brown. And, very exciting, I have a bunch of the new Dior Mono Shadows. So we'll be playing with those as well. So why don't we just go ahead and jump right in. The first thing actually that I'm going to apply is a new SPF that I received in PR from Dr. Dennis Gross. Um, I was really curious about this because it's an all physical sunscreen. So it has zinc oxide in here, it's 16%. So it's an SPF 30 and it's oil free, it's reef safe, all those things. So I was just curious like how this is going to, you know, just kind of sit on my skin and wear if there's like any kind of really obvious white cast, you know, those things that we like think about when we think about physical sunscreen. So I'm just gonna shake this up. Oh, it's got a nice uh, like pointy tip there. I don't really smell anything, which is good. I'm just starting with a light amount. I know that's not enough for um, like actually getting a, a 30, SPF 30 kind of coverage. But when it comes to physical sunscreens, especially I like to use a lot of light layers. Otherwise I do feel like it gets really kind of clumpy. Wow, the texture is really nice. It's a little bit on the thinner side, which is nice. It's not too thick which I find sometimes with physical sunscreens, it's almost like, like I'm putting on a mask. <laughs> so this is a really nice uh, light texture and we've got, that <laughs> we've got that radiance that we always get with physical sunscreen, which I think is, um, is nice. I have dry skin, so I think that works for me. Uh, but that was one light layer. I like to kind of let it sit for a little bit and then I'll go in and apply probably like two, two more layers. So I'm gonna squeeze out about the same amount that I put on the first time. I guess that's one good thing about getting so pale over the winter. The white cast on the SPF is really not that bad. It's there though, I definitely see it a little bit. I mean, I think that's to be expected. All right, I'm gonna let this layer sit for a bit. And one last layer of the SPF. Again, about the same amount there. And work that in. All right, I really like the texture of the sunscreen. It's really lightweight. And I do feel like between layers, I, I don't feel like I'm like uh, waiting too long for it to kind of like set down and kind of absorb into my skin a little bit. I feel like it's doing it pretty quickly. Usually I feel like, especially with physical sunscreens, it kind of kind of takes a while for it to kind of settle down. It really can feel um, either very kind of clay-like or the opposite, like very, very slick. So anyway, this is like kind of right in the middle. So far I'm pretty impressed. We'll see how it sits under foundation. But anyway, I'm gonna let this settle down for a couple of minutes and then we'll go in with foundation. All right, it has been at least a couple of minutes, few minutes or so and yeah, it doesn't feel like weird. It just kind of feels like I put some moisturizer down. So I'm gonna go in with the foundation. We are gonna be trying the new NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer with, oh, with SPF 30. So awesome. <laughs> we'll get some extra SPF protection and the SPF in here is both uh, chemical and physical. So there's octanoxate and titanium dioxide in here. And I'm gonna try Norwich Light 1.5. So NARS sent me three different shades and they all look really, really light. Um, not that I'm not light right now, but this is the deepest of the three that they sent. So 1.5, I'm gonna go with this one first. Let me shake this up first. And let's squeeze some out here. Oh, this may. This may work for me. Yeah, it looks a little peachy. It's so funny when I was like just looking at it through this little strip here, it looked so much whiter. So this is a little deceptive, just FYI. Uh, all right, okay, let's give this a shot. I've got my foundation brush here. This is my BK Beauty foundation brush. I'm just gonna pick up a little bit and just try it out down here. Oh, it actually does look a little bit deep. Okay. All right, so they also sent over Gotland 1.2. Let's take a look at this one. Ah, this, yeah. 
I think this is probably the one. Okay, let me wipe off my foundation brush here and pick up some of, which one is this? This one is Gotland and the other one was Norwich. Okay, so Gotland is a little bit lighter. Yeah, I think Gotland is the shade for me. Okay, well, it's a shade for me now. I do feel like I'm exceptionally pale. Uh, I guess the Norwich color will probably come in handy uh, a little bit later on in the spring summer season, but I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this to half of my face. I guess I should try and figure out how to remove this without getting too much of the SPF off. I'm just putting a very light layer of this on. I'm also happy to report that SPF that I have down, it's not like pilling up or doing anything strange underneath this foundation. So that is excellent. And I'm just going to kind of gently wipe off this Norwich color. I don't want to take off the SPF, so I'm not using a makeup wipe. All right, so I have Gotland, a very light layer on this side of my face. I have nothing on this side. Let me use a little bit more because right now I really don't, I really don't see much coverage. All right, so as I'm applying this second light layer, oh, I see it now. I see the coverage. Ooh, that's beautiful. Um, let me just read what's on this card here. Your skin but better, brighter, protected, purely radiant. Enhance the look of your skin with NARS's iconic tinted moisturizer, now available in 16 shades for all skin types and tones. It's the everything. Oh wow, so this is not a new product. They just, I guess, expanded the shade range. Oh, that's cool. And I've never tried this uh, product from NARS. I haven't actually tried a lot of NARS um, base products. And the few that I've tried, between you and me, have not been the best. Um, they just didn't wear that well, but they definitely weren't uh, foundations for me. They were like uh, like matte foundations. I think that was the last one that I tried. That was not great. This one definitely is right up my alley. A radiant tinted moisturizer is like all the things that I love. Yeah, so far I'm really enjoying this. It has like a nice light coverage. I feel, I definitely feel radiant. I do think the SPF underneath is helping that cause, um, but it's really just kind of, kind of perfecting my, my skin tone. It's just sort of evening it out and it doesn't look very heavy on the skin. So I still have nothing on this side. You can see I look a bit more blotchy over here and this side just looks a little bit more smooth, smooth in texture, smooth in smoother in blotchiness. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to the rest of my face. I really like this so far. All right, I'm just inspecting my skin here. I think it looks really nice. And I'm so happy that SPF is sitting really, really nicely underneath uh, this makeup. That's always my, <laughs> it's always like my secret little fear of like trying a new primer because if that doesn't work, then like, that's your whole base. That's like the whole start of your makeup look. And it's just, it usually just goes downhill from there. So I'm really happy that that SPF worked and that this foundation is quite beautiful. Okay, let's move on to, I don't have a new concealer and I feel like I need it today. This has light coverage. I'm looking pretty haggard. I'm gonna whip out an oldie but goodie. This is my YSL Touche Claw Pen. I wanted just something light since this foundation is light. And just going to, oh, I have the shade 1.5 in the Touche Claw. Okay, great. I think that did just enough, just what I needed. So I do have a new powder. We're gonna try the Tatcha, the Silk Powder. I'm really, really excited for this because it's talc free. And let's see, it's made in Japan and there's 20 grams, 0.7 ounces. Here is the packaging. I love this like matte, soft, like rounded packaging here. It's, it's very pleasant, pleasant to look at. So what is really cool about this is that it has like just basically this opening. Well, it's like a disc and around it has like little openings um, in the center there. And then you just kind of shake it and powder kind of comes out into this area. So I think it makes it really easy to 
um, get some powder out and to get some onto your brush by swirling it around there. All right, I'm gonna use my um, Beautylish Yano series brush number two. I'm just gonna dip into some of this powder. So this powder, I don't know if you guys watched my PR haul, it does have like a little bit of a, um, yeah, I would say like a yellow tint to it. And when I swatched it, there was definitely like a little bit of coverage there. So it's uh, interesting. It's an interesting powder. So I'm excited to try it out, um, but I am because it does seem to have a little bit of coverage. I am going to use it very, very lightly. I'm, I'm tapping off most of it. I'm gonna start around the eyes and I am just going to apply it to this side of my face so we can uh, take a look at the difference here. And then just lightly apply to the rest of my face. So there it is on this side of my face. I do, I mean, I, I only put a little bit on, but I like that it left a little bit of radiance. It's not like too mattifying. I think you can see that. It looks like I'm left with like a satin finish versus this side, which is much shinier. And let me take a close look here. You know, I like the way this powder is looking on my face. I don't like what it did to my under eye. I feel like, I'm gonna zoom in here, but I think it's gonna be hard to tell. Um, I feel like my under eye looks a little dry. It looks a little um, textured, I guess you could say. Yeah, it doesn't look quite as smooth as it can. This could be one of those powders that does better if you press it in. Um, like I like working that way with the By Terry Hyaluronic Powder. I feel like if I don't apply that with a finger and pressing it in, it kind of does the same thing. You know what, I'm gonna try a little bit more. So I'm gonna take some, just a little bit on the tip of my finger and just press it in. Oh yeah, that, oh yeah, I think that looks a bit better. I wonder if you can see the difference now between this eye and this eye. This eye without the powder, Still looks a little sad. <laughs> this side looks a little bit more blurred now. Yeah, it doesn't look quite as textured as before. Okay, and yeah, it's definitely set down my makeup. It doesn't feel tacky or anything anymore. So that's good. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to this side. I am just going to apply some with my finger under the eye and just press it in. All right, and now for bronzer. Like I said, I picked up the new uh, Terracotta Bronzing Powder from Guerlain. I did choose shade 01 Light Warm. I was debating between Light Warm and Light Cool, Light Warm and Light Cool, and I thought, eh, let me just try Light Warm. So here is the compact, typical Guerlain Terracotta Compact. It does have the Terracotta uh, fragrance. If that bothers you, you definitely wanna skip, well, you wanna skip any of the Terracotta products. Uh, but here is the pan. And I don't think it looks especially warm in the pan. When I swatch it, it does seem to warm up a bit. So I guess we'll just have to see how it looks once I apply it. So I've got my big fluffy refer brush number six and just gonna go in. I just kinda want a light dusting of this. Start over here. And I'm just, again, applying it to this side of my face so we can kinda look at the difference. All right, so here is the bronzer applied. Here is no bronzer. The light shade is definitely great for me. I think either the light warm or cool. I can't imagine they're too different, but this is the light warm. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. I wouldn't mind something maybe a little bit more neutral, but you know, when the spring summer comes, that's when I pull out my warmer bronzers versus the, the cooler months when I'm a little bit more pale. So I think this will definitely work for the uh, coming months. Let me just add a little bit more to the temples. I feel like, does that look a little better? Yeah, I mean, I think it's nice. I'm not sure that I would say there's anything special about this particular bronzer. It's pretty um, typical, I would say. It has like a soft matte finish. It's a pressed powder, so I don't think there's uh, any issues picking up the product or blending it out, it's very nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply to the rest of my face here. All right, so moving on to blush. Um, I think like two PR hauls ago, I hauled some things from Dear Dahlia and this blush just really, really caught my attention. So this is their Blooming Edition Petal Glow Blush. So this is the shade Infused and Dear Dahlia is like a K-beauty brand. Look at this blush. 
it actually has like a color shift in there. I don't know if you guys can catch that, but let me do a quick swatch here. So in the pan, it looks very mauvey and purpley, but when you swatch it out, because it has uh, like, it looks like it has a lot of layers of colors. It almost looks more rosy. And then it has like this metallic shift to like a peach. It's really cool. So I had to try it. All right, I've got my uh, Sonia G Cheek Pro Brush. And I'm gonna start on the apples on my cheeks and then work out. Ooh, it has such a pretty sheen. And really, it's so funny. It's like wherever I move my head, I feel like you get a different sense of the color. Like it looks really peachy here. And then it looks a little bit more mauve. It looks a little bit more pink, like head on. It's so interesting. I wonder if they have any other shades of this. Yeah, no micro glitters or anything. It's just really, really subtle. Even the sheen that it has is like a really beautiful, like soft satin. Ooh, lovely. All right, I'm not sure if I need highlight with this look. I love that satin sheen here. All right, I'm gonna skip highlight. Who am I? All right, let's move on to eyebrows. And I do actually have uh, a new, well, it's, it's new to me, um, eyebrow product. This is the Hourglass Brow Micro Sculpting Pencils. So they sent this over to me. I didn't know that they had a micro pencil. I've only ever used their, you know, their one, it's like, um, it's like shaped like a block. It's like long or wide, I should say. So they sent over a couple of shades, but the one I'm gonna use today is Dark Brunette. And it's like a typical, typical micro pencil, very, very fine point. And, oh, it's slightly, it's like oval shaped. So it's slightly shaped. It's not just um, a round point. Oh, how interesting. And then this side is a spoolie. Oh, nice. This spoolie is really firm, by the way, if you like that, which I do on occasion. <laughs> It just feels good. Nice, almost like the bronzer. Very, very nice, but I don't know that it is uh, that much more special than any other brow product that I use, but it's very nice, very effective. Let's move on to these Dior Mono Shadows. I'm so excited. So they sent over a whole bunch to me, but I was just on their site and they only have five currently listed. I don't know when the other ones are gonna end up on the site. I'm guessing probably over the next month or so, um, but I'm gonna start with the five that they have listed there. So um, let's see, I know there's like a bunch of different finishes. So here is tool number 530, and this is in a satin finish. And I am going to do like a dedicated video to all of them because like I said, they sent over like all of them or so many of them and they're really beautiful. I think they deserve their own video. So I'm gonna be doing like a dedicated video to all of them, like swatching all of them. Hopefully eye swatching all of them, we'll see how my eyelids hold up. Um, but I'm just gonna show you the five today. So again, this is number 530 Tool, and this is in a satin finish. And here is a swatch of Tool Satin. And then next we have number 481 Poncho. This is also in a satin finish. And here is a swatch of that one. And many of these names I'm realizing um, are related to the names of the quince that they have. So I feel like they pulled out or like they're giving you like the one shadow kind of like feel of the quince. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, like this next one, which is 884 Rouge Trafalgar. And this is in a velvet finish. I think this velvet finish is like a soft matte, not quite satin, not quite matte. And here is a swatch of Rouge Trafalgar. And here is number 98, Black Bow, and this is a matte finish. And here is a swatch of that one. And then here is 616, Gold Star, and this is a glitter finish. And take a look at this swatch, it's so, so cool. It's like this, uh, like dusting of glitter, it's such, a pretty, pretty like top coat. And I think what's amazing about this glitter formula is that it doesn't feel chunky or glittery at all. It's actually really smooth. And there's almost like no um, fallout. But anyway, let me go ahead and demonstrate. So I'm not going to be putting on 
all of these. As you can guess, I am going to be using tool for sure and poncho for sure. So I'm going to start with tool. I'm going to apply this all over my lids. And I'm actually gonna be using some of the newer refer brushes. So I mentioned this in, again, a couple videos ago, um, their concept store is reopening. I'll have all the information down below in my description box, but this concept store allows you to get the brushes that they're kind of testing out um, at a very like deeply discounted rate. And all they want is like some feedback, how you like the shape, did it work for you? How would you improve upon it? Things like that. Or if you would just leave it the way it is. So I'm using number 27. Again, this is one of their newer brushes. So this is kind of like a big blender brush, a bit um, like fluffier than the ones that they have. And I'm going to go into tool. Oh, this is a great one and done shadow brush because it is kind of fluffy and super fast. So that's tool all over. So pretty. Look at that beautiful satin sheen. I know it's like the color of my skin, but I really like, <laughs> I really like these shadows. Next, I'm going to take refer number 28. Again, this is another one of their newer brushes that's going to be in the concept store. And I'm going to go into 481 poncho and I'm just going to apply this to the outer corner and blend that inward. Then I'm gonna go back to 27 and just blend that out. Well, these shadows blend like a dream, not a surprise there. All right, so we have a tool and poncho on. I'm going to use this Black Bow Matte Shadow as liner. And I'm gonna use the refer number 26 brush, which is a liner brush. This liner brush is a little bit bigger then I would say then like the average liner brush. So let me find another one. Here's the Sonia G pencil one brush. So it's a little bit bigger than that. So I think it's a, it's an interesting kind of like liner shape. I think also you can use it for kind of detailed crease work if you want. I don't really do that. So I'm going to use it as liner and I'm just going to apply it to the tips here. And because this brush is bigger and the hair length is longer, it's a little bit of a softer kind of application, or you could say you have a little bit less control. So I am just, since I'm by far like no makeup artist, I am just going in very, very lightly. Otherwise I feel like I'm going to have like kind of a smoked out look, which I'm not going for today. So just going to go in very lightly and really just applying product to the tips there. I really like this brush though, because sometimes pencil brushes can be very stiff, uh, you know, for obvious reasons, but this, because the, the bristles actually move, it's just very soft. You get a much softer kind of application, which is really nice if you like to use, like I do, like shadow as liner. It's a really nice alternative. Oh my God, I have this one piece of hair that just won't hang back with the rest. Just keeps coming forward. All right, and then last but not least, I'm going to apply some of the Gold Star Glitter Shade. I'm just gonna use my finger and just tap it right over like the deeper shade here, because I think you'll see that better than if I tapped it over the lighter one. But look how pretty, can you guys see? <laughs> like, look how pretty that is. I'm not even sure if you can see it. Um, I hope the light is catching it. It's such a pretty kind of like foil, like wet, like glittery effect. It's so, so pretty. There's no fallout. There's something really interesting about this formula. It's like, it almost feels creamy in the pan because it feels cool and really, really smooth. I really hope you can see that it's so pretty. So, so pretty, but I'll show you on the tip of my finger again, what it looks like. So much fun. Okay, so. Those are some of the new um, Mono Color Couture Shadows from Dior. The only one I didn't use is the Rouge Trafalgar. I just, I don't think I, I don't think I need it. So we're gonna move on. And again, if you are interested in like a dedicated video to these, that is definitely coming up. 
I'm trying to think if I will have already put it up. No, I don't think so. <laughs> That's definitely uh, coming up. So stay tuned for that. All right. So, ah, new mascara. I'm really excited for this. So this is the Sicily So Stretch Mascara. I'm pretty sure this is new, but I feel like I've seen this stretch mascara from them before. So maybe it's reformulated. Anyway, I have the shade number two, Deep Brown. And here is the two with the Sicily S on there. And... What am I doing? I need to curl my lashes first. Hang on. Ooh, it's a very kind of long, slender, natural style kind of wand. Oh, neat. And it doesn't look like there's a ton of product on the wand, which is great. So this mascara is, I think, primarily supposed to lengthen your lashes and fortify. I do want to mention you guys know how much I enjoy Sisley, like enjoy immensely. But the one product that I have not been able to find to work for me in their line is mascaras. I've tried a few of them and they've always ended up kind of flaking on me. So I will leave um, a pinned comment down below underneath this description box, letting you know how this wore, letting you know how everything wore because, you know, all this stuff is new, but I'm going to let you know down there. So definitely check below this video for a pinned comment from me. So this mascara is definitely on the stickier side, but they're not sticking together, which is great. I cannot stand when mascaras, like when you blink, you can feel them like pulling apart <laughs> every time you open your eyes. I hate that. I hate it. I really don't like feeling my makeup. So I like the way this mascara is looking so far, but I, I can't say that it's really lengthening. I wonder if the whole like lengthening fortifying thing is more of like uh, something to help your lashes grow, like that sort of a thing. Yeah, a brush specially designed to create a wide eyed look. Okay. Um, a caring formula enriched with vitamin peptide, long lasting, suitable for sensitive eyes. Ah, so yes, yes, it has peptides in here, which I think will help your like lashes grow and all of that. But I think it looks really, really nice. Again, I'll uh, update you down below about how it wore. Um, all right, let's move on to lips. I actually, I didn't pull out any new lip products. Hang on. Ah. I forgot about these, oh my goodness. I just hauled these from Sephora and these are the Rouge Volup Shine from YSL, um, the oil and stick. They came out with new colors. So I got shades one, two, one and one, two, three. And I remember one, two, three was lighter than one, two, one, but let's, let's take a look at these. These, I love these lipsticks and I do have some in my collection, but I really liked these newer shades. So here is one, two, one. Ooh, that's very pretty. And then one, two, three, I think also had more shimmer too. It was lighter and had more shimmer. Yeah, so there's one, two, three, there's one, two, one. I think I'll try one, two, one. That looks very pretty to me today. It has like a little bit more of um, like a brown tint to it, like a reddish brown tint to it, where the lighter one, two, three looks a little bit peachier. And I love the smell of these. They just kind of smell like candy, like a fruity candy. And I love that. Ooh, I love this color. One, two, one. Ooh, it definitely is like a My Lips, but like much better. <laughs> Not just a My Lips, but better. A My Lips, but much, much better. Oh, nice. And this formula, I don't believe this formula is new at all. The oil and stick. This has been around for a while. It's so, so comfortable. Not long lasting, but just really, really nourishing and just feels great. And just makes your lips look really plump and beautiful. Wow. All right. Well, you guys, another very special trying new makeup because I feel really, really like blown away by so many of the things. I feel like this SPF is wearing really, really nicely. So many SPFs by now, especially physical ones, by now would already start to look really, really shiny. So this is great. And then the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. This is lovely as well. This is great. That blush from Dear Dahlia was great. So far, the Tatcha powder is very nice. Not doing anything weird. The eyeshadows, the mascara, the lips, everything is really, really great. The only two things that I felt were like, okay, you know, I, I don't know that there was anything terribly special about them, was the Guerlain bronzer and the Arch, um, the Hourglass Arch eyebrow pencil. Very nice, very effective but nothing about them like stood out. 
stood out. Everything else I feel like is kind of standing out to me. I feel like I look very healthy which is the opposite of how I feel. Okay, well, thank you guys so much for tuning in to this Try New Makeup. And again, don't forget to check down below in the description box on how everything wore. Uh oh, this mascara is, do you see there's like a little flake here? Hopefully that's just from application. Anyway, check that pinned comment. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.